Um, Sky says, is there a sandbox for new Vimeo accounts? I created an account, uploaded two videos, and five days later, not indexed by Google. I embedded the video on a web page that I know was crawled by Google, did a Google Plus post and a Twitter tweet with the URL and the video on the same day the videos were uploaded. In the past, this method has always worked with YouTube, and all videos get indexed in a day or less. A friend of mine did a Fiverr gig for 50 video beds on crappy 2.0s like Blog Post or Blog Spot, which is Blogger, Delicious Digo, and didn't notice any ranking change with the, with the video. I think Google ignores these types of sites when trying to pass link juice to a website, but it seems to have always worked with videos. Any change on the algo? Okay, um, as far as Vimeo, I don't know if Vimeo has a sandbox. I doubt it. I mean, because it, it wouldn't be Vimeo itself, it would be Google not indexing it. Right? right. And I, and I don't know that it – I've never had that issue. I created a brand-new Vimeo account for the last um, – when I did a um, launch jack case study for Masterclass recently uh, for Video Traffic X, in fact. I created a brand-new um, Vimeo account and uploaded a video to it and ranked it on the first page in a matter of, I don't know, 12 hours, 14 hours. It was on page one. Um, Vimeo – so I've never had that problem. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying I've never I don't know enough about Vimeo I don't use it enough to know whether that's a common issue or not. Anybody else know? Yeah, I I would I'm I don't use Vimeo that much, right? So I'm kind of guessing here, but the only way to know if, if there's an internal uh, what do you call it? If, if there's an internal sandbox would be to do a search for the video in Vimeo, because if it doesn't appear on on the internal search, then it's Vimeo that's sandboxing the video. Yeah, and you mean from a fresh account or in a in a browser where you're not logged in, or you mean right, right, right okay. Or no, inside Vimeo. Right, but because in a browser that you're not logged into Vimeo, right? This is this is how we look for our sandbox Twitter accounts, or, right? Or one of the ways we do a search for for our uh, posts or our tweets and anything that we've done inside of of Twitter and see if it appears on the internal search engine. And if it doesn't, then you're sandboxed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but again, I I would I'm not sure why Sky it, it didn't index. I mean, like he, like Marco just said, if it's an internal thing and it wasn't like the, the Vimeo wasn't giving you a public URL or something, that could be that could be it. But I don't know for sure. Uh, the other thing you could do is just submit the URL directly to Google. You know, go 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 to the crawl URL. Just go to Google and search for submit URL Google or Google submit URL, and you'll get the crawl URL um, link. Just click on that. You got to be logged into a Google account. And then you just submit the URL directly to Google Search Console. Okay, that's another way because that's going to force them to index it if it's if it's not, um, you know, got like a robots.txt or something on it saying not to index it. You know, a no index tag on it. So, um, any change? Let's see. He says any change on the algo? I think there's a shift in the sheer number of embeds to the quality of the site. Yeah, well, that's a shift that's been occurring sky um, there is I mean obviously if you brute force uh, the number of embeds like what Holly Cooper is famous for you can still get results with that and a lot of people like in the video mark you know uh, that are do, that do a lot of video marketing are using tools like what's the one that people are using now money robot they yeah money robot. For a lot of video embed stuff mm -hmm. and that's money robot yeah uh, FCS is still but money robot yeah yeah and uh, so those are all like, I mean, those are like just brute force embeds. In other words, it's about, it's just like as many places as you can get the video as possible. And that still helps. But, you know, we've been trending towards having higher quality sites for, shit, two years now. Um, and that's what works, in my opinion, better because it requires less overall embeds if the, right. if the embeds are on higher quality sites with better metrics. Yeah. So. Yeah, and this ties this ties up with the with, with Michael's question also because you can have a ton of embeds, uh, or you can have one strong brand branded channel, you know. Yeah. And you can have a ton of uh, secondary uh, tier networks, or you can have one strong branded uh, tier one network. The main idea right. here is that your embeds not only bring you embeds but also bring you views and traffic. So you can, I mean, both will, I think, pretty much take you the same amount of effort and resources to build, but, you know, uh, one is more, much more valuable to the uh, viewer, to the user than the other. Yeah, and it's also, it's also more valuable to you as the, um, you know, the digital asset owner, because right. if, if you're building higher quality sites that, they're, they're more long term, they have more longevity. You know, you see what I'm saying? They're going to be, they're more valuable than a bunch of just, you know, orphaned accounts, as I call them, 
mm -hmm. uh, that you're using for spam purposes. You know, you, it, again, you're building an asset that you're going to have long term that's going you're going to be able to use over and over again, and that to me is a much better, uh, it's a much more solid business found you know or foundation to build your business upon. Okay. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, don't get me wrong, guys. Spamming embeds, it still works, but you just need so many of them. And the problem is, you know, they don't really last all that long. A lot of times those accounts get terminated, and then you still start seeing your ranking slip. So it's, in my opinion, it's better just to go ahead and work on. Um, it takes a little bit more effort up front to get them set up properly with, like, you know, branded networks or or themed networks that you take the time to build up. But that's going to help. And then, like Hernan said, one of the you know one of the big factors for ranking videos and, and even websites or web pages now today is is uh, user engagement. So user metrics. And so again, if you can get like real traffic to any of those videos, that's going to help too without needing as many embeds. You know, like I said, I've showed several times some examples of you know I can jump over here for a minute and let's just bring this up. Um, this is one that I show all the time as an example because it wor it just works really well. Um, this is a video that I ranked, and it's funny. I was just talking, telling the guys. I get questions. I, I got two calls this week already for people looking for SEO services in Virginia, and uh, and just from this video, and then also from a Google site that I have ranked uh, for SEO Virginia. But this this video right here is ranked, and it was mainly done. It I mean, you know, it went through my initial network that. Um, um, syndication networks, the IFTTT networks, but other than that I really didn't do a whole lot of SEO other than spammed metric, user metrics, which was basically what I call um, CT spam, click-through spam, um, using crowd search, but it's basically me user metrics that have got this video ranked, and it's been ranked for months now, months, guys, and I haven't done a damn thing to it since. I've just, I've still got the, the click-through spam campaign set up and running. That just runs all the time in the background, but it doesn't cost me very much for that, and it's just ranking. Look at that, position number three, right? So anyways, nice. that's just an example. All right, back to it. 